it's Alex Coulomb. Uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about how I'm doing some of my crazy cool Oculus Rift things using um, Unity, which is a program that, as I mentioned in the other video, I'm still pretty new at. Uh, so I feel like this might be a nice introduction for <laughs> not just anyone who wants to start doing stuff with the Oculus Rift, but anyone that uh, really has no real entry point to all this, uh, just like I didn't. Um, I want to start by saying the Oculus Rift um, prefab is incredibly simple. I mean, the basic of un <laughs> the basic point of Unity is everything is drag and drop. Um, all my assets are in the asset folder. Everything that's in this video game interactive file is in here. Um, we've got, let's see, what do we have? I haven't looked at this in a few days. We've got my model of the theater. I have the seats as a, a separate model. You have everything inside those. Uh, my camera, the way, so the way I set up all of my different camera views, which, um, as a reminder, looks like this. By the way, yeah, hitting play and maximize on play, you can actually test drive any interactive scene right in Unity. It's great. You don't have to create a separate executable or anything. Um, all I wanted to say was this little left-right arrow key thing I've got going on. Um, let me exit out. That came from a script that I have in 3ds Max that takes all my cameras in the scene and um, puts them all on the timeline, the animation timeline. And uh, so what I have as part of this file, I think? Nope, not that file. Oh, maybe I, I did it separately, my multicam. Yeah. So anyway, that has a built-in animation. And um, what I've done with that animation is created <laughs> a new, uh, what's called an animation scene for every single frame. Now, I'm sure this is not the most efficient way to do this. Um, I took the Code Academy free course on JavaScript. Um, I have very little scripting knowledge, uh, bare bones in Max script for 3ds Max, a little bit of action script for Flash but um, really had never done anything like this before, so learned a little bit of Java, came in handy pretty quickly. Um, the script I created is, again, probably not efficient at all, but I'll open it up, give you a little sense. Um, what I had to do was take every single frame of my camera, which again is one camera that is bouncing to all the different seat views in the scene, and I basically had to do a um, you know, get key down thing so that when you're holding down the left arrow and the right arrow, it's moving one view back, one view forward. I also had to, ha had to add in an escape key. Believe it or not, by default, once you're in a Unity scene, there's not just a default button to quit the application. So that's a good one to have. Anyone wondering how to do that? Um, so I'm using some default um, Unity things here. Uh, I've got a smooth look at script, which is basically for looking at the stage once the Oculus Rift is involved though, it basically takes over that. Um, so that's actually for the non-Oculus Rift version. But then we have this, all this very identical code going through all 83 cameras in the scene. And so what I'm basically saying is if the current state equals 83 in this case, um, then I want to do an animation that slowly crossfades over 0.2 seconds into um, the scene state 83, which is also frame 83 in the timeline. Uh, I have a speed and a weight, because the tricky thing is an animation wants to play continuously. Um, it doesn't usually want to just go one frame at a time. So again, there probably is an easier way to do this, but this worked OK. Um, the way I have it set up is the left and right key are actually changing the state. So basically, you know, if I press left or right a couple times, maybe it'll become state 3, therefore it's going to be looking for animation state 3, and therefore frame 3. So that's that fun code. Um, again, just to give a little sense of what that looked like. Yeah, so we got that, but then also, here we go, it's in the Unity camera animation test. All of these little play buttons, those are all the different animations I had to uh, pull apart in the scene pretty time consuming, but if I do it the same way every time, I shouldn't have to do too much work. So what I did is, when I'm looking at the base version of this, is I had to go through and create a new clip. 
Uh, for some reason, if you make the clip play from, say, frame 1 to frame 2, or if you, you can't do a clip that just goes from frame 1 to frame 1 or frame 2 to frame 2. There always needs to be a range. Um, so I ran into a problem where it would go from frame 1 to frame like 1.1, and every camera was jittering a lot. So instead, what I have here is each of these frames, in theory, playing until the end of the scene. Um, but again, the way I have that script set up is it's basically going to start playing and then pause right away. So it only actually uses that first frame. So I had that. Um, another script I have going on is a better mouse look at. Um, I apologize, I can't remember who made this, but I downloaded it online. There's a really wonderful Unity community out there uh, for asking questions, looking for better scripts. Um, this is for using the mouse to look around. If the Oculus Rift gets a little bit off, maybe you're facing the wrong way and you want to be able to uh, play with that a little bit. But yeah, what I've got in the scene right now, just to walk through a few assets, I've got a directional light, Everything within the scene uh, has a big icon that shows you what it is. You know, also, just a, a quick commentary on 3ds Max versus here, when I'm showing, like, my boss or something, what a model is looking like, another great thing about Unity is because um, everything is kind of optimized within here, it's very easy to just move around and look at a scene. Um, whoop, oh, now I got my cat. Hi, this is Nami. She is not a dog. Um... She's our street cat. We got her about two blocks away, as opposed to West Virginia. Anyway, uh, very smooth movement here. Great for showing my boss how this looks. If I'm opening the same file in 3ds Max, it's much jittery. It's got like kind of a, you know, half a frame a second kind of thing going on. But very clean in here. Uh, I got my little animated thing. I believe I got these from Turbo Squid. Again, eventually I'll I'll try to do a, a some real motion capture work in there with bipeds and. Um, make that look all nice. Um, let's see, so we got my Philip Glass song that's just kind of playing from the stage. Uh, real simple 3D sound settings, you know, you can you can make this uh, much more realistic. If I wanted to, I could really get complicated with the acoustics and having it bounce off the hall properly. I uh, get some nice reverb in there, eventually. Um, another animation. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Uh, the way I set these up, by the way, for, so when you download, oh, this is from Mixamo, actually. Uh, actually, I think that was still from Turbo Squid. So when you import a file, a drag and drop into your assets, um, the animation isn't just going to play by default. So what I what I do, which works for me, is um, I go to Rig, this setting here. I tell the animation type to be Legacy. Um, I think that by default still says Store and Root, and then under Animations. I tell it to loop. Um, Keyframe reduction doesn't matter. I think that might speed things up a little bit. In theory, the animation will be right there. And then I just make sure, yes, that everything says loop. And then that way, everything just starts looping as soon as the scene starts. Um, you can do a little bit of scripting to add in you know, uh, a, a button on the keyboard that will stop animations, things like that. But for my purposes, I basically just want it going through the entire scene. Um, what else we've got? So let's take a closer look at the way the cameras are working here. So I have, yeah, what I called Unity Camera Animation Test. Uh, these are all these are all the separate cameras, which are then combined into this multicam. This multicam has an audio listener, as Unity likes to constantly remind you. You can only have one audio listener per scene, uh, so that's actually turned off. What's nice about Unity is you can have way too many things within um, any given object or asset and you can just turn off the ones you don't need at any given time. So I have uh, a camera in here which is actually for the 2D version of this when I'm not using the Oculus Rift and it's just turned off. Um, if I were to turn that back on right now I'd, I'd have some problems. I can just show you. Yeah, <laughs> look we're gonna get yeah we're gonna get like a lazy eye thing going on because it's using a steady camera for one side <laughs> and the Oculus Rift camera for the other side. So if I unlock this for example yeah, that's kind of crazy. But that's what's great. Yeah, so I can have all this stuff ready to go. <laughs> Unturn that off. And um, yeah, just turn things on and off. So from the same file, it's easy for me to create an Oculus Rift compatible version of this, as well as a um, normal computer executable. Um, so the Oculus Rift, again, this is just the default controller that comes with um, the Oculus Rift, the SDK when you, you get it in the mail. 
or I'm sorry, you download it from the site and can import this into Unity Pro. Um, few checkboxes, you know, I'm still having some trouble with that near clip plane. If anyone has any ideas of how to deal with that, greatly appreciated. Uh, maybe it has to do with lens correction, I don't know. Uh, prediction on is great, that's kind of as you start to move your head, it, it has some sense of how much longer you'll be moving your head for. Um, use player height is cool. The Unity, or the Oculus Rift actually has some profiles you can set up with a configuration utility where you give your, um, you know, eye distance, what kind of things you can see. Everyone's eyes are a little bit different, and even height. So you can actually, um, what I'm, I'm sure will be a great asset to me at one point, have different profiles for people of different height. And then without actually changing anything within the Unity file, I can sit someone down, say, you know, tall person profile, and then this will be up a little bit higher. And I can do short person profile, and it's a little bit lower, um, et cetera, et cetera. Fat person profile, and everything gets wider. Just kidding. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so these scripts don't really need to be on. Um, again, when I'm using the camera controller script, that does need to be on. The camera, now you might, depending on how familiar you are with Unity, you might think it's strange that there's only one camera object here and it's off. Uh, that's because the way that I actually had to get this to work was uh, one of the children of the multicam object buried down, deep, deep down in here is the Oculus Rift. Um, honestly, I think I kind of got lucky with this. I basically took the default Oculus Rift asset, dragged it into this animated camera I already had set up, and everything kind of just worked, which is, I think, a testament to the wonderful developers over at Oculus Rift. Uh, so there's the camera controller. If I wanted to be able to make it so I can run around, that actually wouldn't be too hard to do. But right now, I've, yeah, I've got a camera left and a camera right. So those are the cameras I want on that object there. And that's basically it for now. Um, again, there's a lot of things I'd love to add to this file. Um, but this is just kind of a start, just kind of giving a sense of how the magical Oculus Rift works and uh, some of the potential of it. Can't wait for motion tracking. Can't wait till I know how to script a little bit better and can uh, maybe add in a few other things. You know, actually, I might have already set up... Nope, never mind. I did not set up any other cameras. <laughs> right now, all I've got is left, right, and escape. Although, that doesn't matter when you're inside Unity. Anyway, it's a great program. I'd love to see more architects using it. Um, if you have any questions about my <laughs> very minimal knowledge of Unity right now, feel free to ask. Um, and I'd love, you know, suggestions, anything like that. Feel free to subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, have a good day.